what up this is rapids and so jag ruga pulled up to adam 22's show for an interview and he came with the smoke they started getting into it back and forth and a lot of people wondering like what was this all about so it's crazy because jag ruga got kicked out of that show adam 22 said get out of here you know get out of this uh building and uh, at JAG Ruger wasn't going at first. It was like he wanted that smoke, but then he finally left. And the funny thing about it is his guy stayed, his people stayed that came there with him. So look, JAG Ruger pulled up with two of his artists. Now, I'm not even clear if those are his artists or if they're just part of his crew because JAG Ruger ain't looking much like a leader anymore because his guy stayed. And everyone I've been talking to said that if one person in the crew gets kicked out, the whole crew's supposed to go. So when Ruga got kicked out, that whole crew was supposed to go with him. But they stayed, and it was wild because you turn around and you see that the interview's continuing on with the other two JHE members, JHE Devil and JHE Fat. So they from Ruga's label, but now I'm not even sure if Ruga's in charge of that label because I don't see how you could stick together as a crew if you're not riding out together like that. If one gets kicked out, they all supposed to get kicked, you know, not kicked out, but the, they supposed to go voluntarily. You know, the rest of the members were supposed to ride out with Ruger and leave the building with him. So, I don't know exactly what happened after Ruger left, but I'm hearing there might have been, you know, an intense situation on the outside of the building. So, I'll let y'all know as more information comes available, but really, we have to cover what was they beefing about so a lot of people is speculating what they was beefing about and it looks like some of the top reasons is because of the Wooski situation where Adam 22 was disrespecting Wooski because that came up in the interview and um you know what I'm saying Adam 22 basically uh was going back and forth with Wooski and um so Ruger might have took offense to that but another reason might be because M22 recently had said something about Duck's mom. So he was saying Duck's mom shouldn't have sued Little Dirk because Duck was on that, you know, BS too. So how how Duck's mom gonna sue Little Dirk when Duck was the same type of artist? It's not like he was an innocent victim, you know, a civilian or something. Everyone's saying like Duck was in the streets and talking a lot of stuff too. So why are you gonna sue Dirk when Duck was the same type of artist as Dirk? So, uh, Adam 22 was making that statement and he might have said a few things maybe out of pocket where Ruger might have took offense to because Ruger was real close with Duck. But here's my take on what all went happened with Ruger. I believe that Ruger shouldn't have did what he did. I personally don't think he should have came with the smoke like that. I mean, it's one thing to argue and, you know what I'm saying, maybe make your point with words, but Ruger kept challenging Adam 22 to fight and that's where I think Ruger probably shouldn't have went now he is bringing the streets to the podcaster but I don't think you get no real points for that because when it comes down to it a podcaster should be able to talk about what they want to talk about it shouldn't be something off limits to where they have to hold back their opinion because they might offend a rapper or something so I think that's Adam 22's job is to say what he feels about situations in hip-hop and i don't believe that ruga is supposed to take serious offense to what adam said but you can't tell nobody how to feel about certain stuff but that's just my opinion because you know this is what people do you know when you're in the public and you're a rapper i believe that's fair game for any podcaster to talk about the rapper and whatever they want to say whatever opinion they have about that rapper now like I said, that doesn't mean that Ruger can't take offense to it, but I don't think it was in good taste. I believe Ruger should have handled that situation like a man. I think he should have, you know, and that and that doesn't mean by fighting. It means by with your words. I believe he could have just had a discussion and said what he feel. It could have even been an intense discussion, but it didn't need to go to where it went. You know what I'm saying? I think it should have just stayed in his lane, the whole thing. So business over emotions, you know, basically. And it's he seemed super emotional. Ruger seemed super emotional for how he behaved in that interview. And, you know, he was already mad at Adam 22. Like, there, this interview 
was a surprise because they had already been kind of beefing for what I recall. They was kind of going back and forth before. And I was surprised to even see Ruger there in the first place. But I guess Ruger had other intentions when he accepted the offer. And I believe Adam 22 most likely paid him to even be there. So it looks like they completed most of the interview because the interview was like an hour and 30 minutes, the full interview. So, but yeah, why take um, super offense to what a blogger is saying? I don't think you get no cool points for that, in my opinion, because, you know, that's like beating up the cameraman or something. Like you're going to beat up what Vlad TV. You're going to beat up who Adam 22, anybody that has an opinion that you don't like. What about Cam Capone? You're going to pull up on him for the smoke. Like, in, in reality, um, Adam 22 was putting shine on a lot of Chicago artists. That's the same thing people was like when academics was out here uh, talking a lot of stuff about Chicago music. A lot of Chicago artists was like having smoke with um, academics. I'm thinking like, academics are putting y'all on. He's putting the spotlight on, you know what I'm saying, your name, and he's making you popular because people are learning about you that don't even know about you now because you're on the show. So people are tuning in to interviews. That's like the way people promote now. You see with the uh, presidential campaign, they're figuring out that they got to pull up to interviews to get their message across now. Not necessarily just like uh, typical TV and television where, you know, those are the days of the past where you pull up to the radio or something. So nowadays it's about pulling up to podcasts and stuff like Adam 22, No Jumper, and Vlad, and Capone, and all them. So this, you know, is something where why would you bite the hand that feeds you at this point? Why are you bringing smoke to the podcaster who is just doing an interview? And yeah, you might not like his opinion, but let's not fight him. Let's not fight the interviewer because you don't like something he said. That's in my opinion. I just think it was distasteful. I think it was not a professional move. I think it was not a good business decision. I think, you know what I'm saying, and for them, for his people to stay, for um the other members to stay behind and finish the interview and complete it, props to them, because that's how you handle stuff like that, I believe. You you know what I'm saying, it's always supposed to be business over emotions. Like, why are you super emotional? That's not even really a trait that is something that you should be displaying, you know, in the public, because it, it wasn't a good look, in my opinion, for Ruga to um wild out like that. To me, that wasn't a good look. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a points. It wasn't, oh, you're, you're bullying a freaking interviewer. You know, what are you going to um, bully the cameraman next? You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to smoke with the cameraman or the producer or the, you know, like if you're in the studio, you're going to uh, bring smoke to the uh, beat maker or the, you know, come on, man, the DJ or what, you know, come on. Like, if you're going to bring smoke, bring smoke to other fellow rappers. People are all for that type of stuff, but to bring smoke to, you know what I'm saying? The the interviewer that's just you to me he lost points he lost some points in my opinion for 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 how he behaved in that interview I don't know what y'all think y'all support uh, Ruger's actions or do you think he should have handled it more professionally do you think he should have completed the interview professionally and yeah I'm not saying he couldn't um, make his point about how he feels about things just like anyone else should be able to but why challenge him to a fight I mean he already said he don't want to fight you. The um, Adam Twenty Two didn't want to fight you. Why keep challenging him to box? Like, what, what, what's this about? Like, let Adam Twenty Two conduct the interview, and you should be saying your point. But say your point back with words, and make your point about how you feel about stuff. And you can even get louder or whatever if you really want to, or you can um, get upset if you really want to. But I think just make your point. That's the main thing. Make your point about how you feel about stuff. You don't have to bring the smoke to an interview so yeah that's about it for today like i said let me know your thoughts in the comment section what you think about all this and how that interview went and you know his actions ruga's actions and that whole thing all right uh i'm gonna come back in another uh video so make sure you stay tuned make sure you like the video let's get 50 likes okay let's get 50 likes on this video make sure you subscribe and check the description box for links i got social media links follow rap hits on all social media i'm out of here